My name is Miss Mary, and I'm very excited to be with you today. Today, I'm going to read to you a story called Pizza Counting by Christina Dobson, illustrated by Matthew Holmes. Today's story comes from the Healthy Schools, Healthy Communities curriculum developed by the Michigan Fitness Foundation. Let's take a minute to look at our cover and take a peek at the back. And using the pictures and the title, Pizza Counting, what do you think our story is going to be about? Do you have any guesses or predictions about what's going to happen in our story or what's going to be in our story? Take a minute to think about what foods you might see in our story. Have you ever had pizza? When do you like to eat pizza? When you have pizza, what kind of toppings do you like to put on your pizza? I like to put on lots of different food groups like fruits and vegetables and protein. I love pepperoni and banana peppers. Sometimes we put pineapple on our pizza. Lots of different ways to make a pizza. Well, let's listen. Let's find out. What kind of pizza are they going to make? And if it's maybe a pizza you've tried before or something that you could make on your own. Here we go. Pizza Counting by Christina Dobson, illustrated by Matthew Holmes. If you think pizza is delicious, say delicioso. That's how people say delicious in Italy, where the first pizza was made. This is a plain cheese pizza. It has zero pieces on top. It has only crust cheese and tomato sauce. The first pizza had no sauce because there were no tomatoes. Explorers brought the first tomato seeds from America to Europe in the 1500s. For the next 200 years, most people thought tomatoes were poisonous. Let's face it, a tasty pizza will put a smile on the face of any hungry kid. A plain pizza is like a blank piece of paper, a great place to create a picture. The picture on this pizza is made from one mushroom, two olives, three strips of green bell pepper, and four slices of tomato. Bell peppers come in five colors, green, yellow, orange, red, and purple. Would you like to be a purple pepper eater? You could celebrate the 4th of July with this patriotic pizza. Its flag design is made of five eggplant stars, six red onion strips, seven cheese strips, and eight red pepper pieces. Pizza has become as American as apple pie. There are more than 60,000 pizza restaurants in the United States. Once upon a time, people decided that pizza was the perfect snack food. It's a tasty, quick meal, especially if it is a clock pizza with nine green pepper pieces, 10 tiny meatballs, 11 red onion strips, and 12 salami pieces. It takes only 10 minutes to bake a pizza in a very hot oven of about 550 degrees. In Italy, the bakers sometimes used red hot volcanic rocks to heat their pizza ovens. People all over the world eat pizza. In some places, people like tuna, coconut, bean sprouts, or pickled ginger on their pizzas. Would you like this planet earth pizza with 17 strips of green bell pepper, 18 chive pieces, 19 pepperoni slices, and 20 onion strips? The largest pizza ever made was 140 feet across. It would take more than 131 million 
12 inch pizzas to circle the earth at the equator. That's a lot of pizza, but we eat even more than 131 million pizzas each year in America. Wow. You would need more than 1,260,000,000 12-inch pizzas placed crust to crust to build a pizza path to the moon. Americans eat more than enough pizza to reach the moon. All of us together eat over 2,375,000,000 pizzas each year. All this talk about pizza could make you hungry. You could cut a pizza in half so it has two equal parts. If you have a whale of an appetite, you might eat half a pizza. Anchovy pizzas are the least popular with people, but whales might like them. A whale can eat a ton of anchovies a day. That's 2,000 pounds, which is enough to make about 16,000 anchovy pizzas. A pizza that is cut into three equal slices is divided into thirds. The Triceratops had three horns on its head, and this Triceratops pizza has three pieces. Perhaps the Triceratops became extinct because it didn't eat healthy foods. Pizza is a healthy food with lots of protein, carbohydrates, vitamins, and calcium. Now think about being really hungry for pizza. Which size slice would you rather have? One third or one fourth? One sixth or one eighth? Two thirds or two sixths? Three twelfths or one fourth? halves, thirds, fourths, fifths, sixths, eighths, tenths, twelfths, and one whole. Pizza fractions. The end. Very good job of listening today. Now let's see how well we were paying attention. In our story today, we heard lots of different pizzas that people all over the world like to make. What are some ways you heard in our story or some toppings you heard that you would put on your pizza? There was tuna, onion, Peppers, pepperoni, meatballs were on there, eggplants, of course cheese, lots of different toppings. That's why I love pizza so much. From those that we heard, what were some vegetables that you could put on your pizza to help you get more vegetables every day? What are some vegetables you could think of, maybe that weren't in our story, that you could put on your pizza? Sometimes we like to put broccoli on our pizza, and of course bell pepper, lots of any kind of vegetables if you want. How about protein? What are some protein foods you could put on top of your pizza to help your muscles? At my house, we like to do ham sometimes. And I love pepperoni on my pizza. And sausage we do a lot on our pizzas. In our story, did you hear many fruits on top of their pizza? What are some fruits you could put on your pizza to help your skin and your hair and your muscles and your heart? 
maybe pineapple or sometimes we do strawberry. Have you ever tried that on your pizza? I love pizza. Hopefully you dare to try it sometime too if you haven't had it. And remember to use any kind of toppings that you want to make it very unique and very delicious and very good for you. Very good job listening today. Thank you for having me and we'll see you again soon.